Hello you troublemakers. Welcome to Mayhem Country Living. Darren here. I'm going to read you the very first dystopian fiction novel that I ever read. It's a pretty good one. Hang on, got it right here. It won't take long, don't worry. The Little Red Hen Illustrated by Beth Wilson. Copyright M C M L I I I by Western Publication Company. All rights reserved. Produced in God bless America. More kind. Okay, guys. Now we're back, and we're just going to start from uh, the beginning. Pages aren't numbered, so I'm going to flash them up and show them to you. Never done this before, so bear with me. The little red hen and her baby chicks lived in a barnyard with a cat, the duck, and the pig. Every day when the little red hen hunted for food, the cat, the duck, and the pig slept in the sun. Liberals. One day the little red hen found some grains of wheat. She said, if we plant the wheat, we shall have more wheat to be ground into flour for bread. Who will help me plant the wheat? Long-term food storage. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the pig. Then I will plant the wheat myself, said the little red hen. And she did. Independent woman. By and by, the wheat grew tall and ripe. Who will help me cut the wheat? Asked the little red hen. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the pig. I think they voted for Obama. Then I will cut the wheat myself, said the little red hen. And she did. When the wheat was cut, the little red hen said, Who will help me thresh the wheat to separate the seeds from the straw? Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the pig. interlopers. Then I will thresh the wheat myself, said the little red hen. And she did. After the wheat was threshed, the little red hen said, Who will help me take the wheat to the mill that the miller may grind the into flour? Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the pig. Then I will take it to the mill myself, said the little red hen. And she did. When the little red hen came home with the flour, she had said, Who will help me make the bread? Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the pig. Selfish. Then I will make the bread myself said the little red hen, and she did. Soon the bread was baked and out of the oven. Cluck, cluck, said the little red hen. The bread is done, it's light and sweet. Now who will come and help me eat? Oh, it's the Democrats. I will, said the cat. I will, said the duck. I will, said the pig. No, said the little red hen. My little chicks and I will eat the bread. And they did eat it. They had every bite. How about that? Dystopian fiction for children. Okay, guys, now we're back in just a second. You're going to see a picture of my ugly mug pop up on that side of the screen as well as some videos uh, on the other. Uh, click on that if we are indeed your brand of wacky. And don't forget to take a look at Taylor Made Life. Yes, I found out there are 150 different channels Taylor Made Life. We're working on that. We're going to think up another name for it. Don't worry. Take care of your people.